Hey guys, welcome back to Battle Red Inc. Today, we're talking about the brand new Digimon TCG game that's set to release in for the pre-release in November, and they just recently spoiled, sort of, some of the, uh, the cards that are being included in 1.0. I don't know if it was intentional or just kind of like a little sneak peek that we're going to be getting, uh, but I'm pretty excited that they're what they showed. Let's get into this. As always, if you're new to the channel, please like the video and subscribe. I try to put out as much content covering all the different stuff that I can uh, to help you guys out. So if you like the channel, please subscribe. We're getting close to that thousand mark and, uh, and I can't wait to hit it. It's going to feel like a great accomplishment. Uh, also, if you really want to support the channel, I have a Patreon in the link just in the link a link in the description below. For that, you can get access to my private Discord server as well as some other cool incentives. Uh, also, the link for my Teespring is in the description as well for all of my merch for the channel. So definitely, please check those out. I greatly appreciate your support. All right, so. Uh, just the other day, we got this awesome little spread here of uh, rarities for the, the upcoming January uh, release, which is also the pre-release. This is the 1.0 pack, right? Gives us the breakdown of how much stuff is included, which 187 different cards is a lot. That is a lot. 12 cards in a, in a pack, though, is nice. Uh, I don't know how much you're guaranteed in a pack, though. It's like... 11 commons and then a, just one of the other ones or 10 commons, one uncommon and then a, one of the others, I don't know so uh, that'll be kind of interesting to see how they kind of divide that up because um, I'm, I'm worried about those super rares but that's not what this is about, right? Um, so then they, they gave us the box toppers of what they plan on releasing as well as the promotion pack which this is super awesome, I'm glad we're getting these promos um, a lot of people were worried because in Japan they were a little more difficult to get. Well, not necessarily difficult, but a little different to get, right? Um, so we're getting these as well, uh, which is great. Um, and then uh, we're also getting a dash pack as well, um, which is uh, this down below here, this in gray. And the dash pack is just alternate arts, which is pretty awesome um, that you get. But why we are here... This right here in the middle of the screen. Possibly a little uh, a little tell here. Uh, not really sure. But it looks like the box, the 1.0 box, has four different packs inside of it. Now, of course, the cards inside these packs are going to be random. Uh, but four different artworks for the 1.0. If you look here right here, version 1.0, version 1.0, version 1.0, version 1.0. Uh, these aren't just for different sets. This is all version 1.0. And if you've been playing a card game for long, you know that the artwork that's on the pack is included in the pack, right? So then we're getting all of these guys here. So we're getting Omnimon, which is pretty much a guarantee. We saw that coming. Uh, we're getting the uh, the 1.0 Wargreymon and Metal Garurumon. Uh, this right here is great, uh, great news. We're getting Shine Greymon, which is huge. Um, Yellow desperately needed this to be in the 1.0 pack so bad. Uh, as far as Yellow decks are concerned, this is kind of their only strategy that they have available. Uh, we got Gallantmon, which is pretty cool. I know he's a huge fan, uh, fan favorite, so definitely a good idea to include him for the English release because of just how popular he is in the... Uh, in the US as well as other English uh, speaking areas don't mean to exclude you guys um, we got the the Diaboromon which is kinda cool um, not really doing anything but I think he's a pretty interesting piece and I think he has a lot of potential uh, just depending on how the game goes potentially if Omnimon ever gets limited a little bit I know we're a long ways off for any kind of limit or ban list in this game but um, for the future, just kind of keeping keeping an eye out if he ever falls off. I think Diaboromon is going to be a, definitely a good contender. Um, also, we got uh, Devimon, which is pretty cool for you purple players out there. Um, oh man, I'm forgetting this guy's name. Machinedramon? Yeah, Machinedramon. Got it right on the first try. <laughs> I completely drew a blank. Uh, as well as Paimon here. So uh, I think Paimon is actually a very interesting strategy as well. 
for uh, for kind of like a rookie rush purple, so to speak, uh, strategy there. So uh, some great cards there. Um, not really seeing any kind of black representation though, which is a surprise. I thought the purple and black would be pretty even, uh, seeing a lot of purple here. But we do have some black, so we are thinking that there should be as well as others. Um, I thought we might have saw um, Beelzemon, but uh, no Beelzemon on the cover art, which is a surprise because he's a huge fan favorite right up there of Gallantmon. Uh, so hopefully he's included but it might not be the case. Granted, they can't fit all the super rares on here, but I thought they would at least include all the big heavy hitters. So uh, we got a bunch of purple here, you know, the one black, no green, uh, with the rise gray mon, at least for yellow. Um, of course, red and blue are gonna be dominating uh, right off the bat. It's just kind of a given. Blue specifically, especially if they have Omnimon at their disposal. So just kind of theorizing, just based off of what we have here as far as super rares are concerned, uh, for you know what we're thinking the meta might turn into. Omnimon blue, definitely up there. Um, you're going to have your Rise Greymon for yellow, which is pretty awesome. Uh, depending on what else we get, R Rookie Rush might be certainly a, a viable option. Uh, it might be more of a 1.5 thing, just kind of depending, especially that uh, the new sh strategy that's kind of unveiling itself is the uh, the blue jamming with Imperial Dramon. Imperial Dramon is not listed right here on these uh, artworks, so I definitely don't think he's included. Uh, he's already barely just hitting the surface on in Japan, uh, just being talked about, so I, I don't think he's going to be in our set. So there goes that kind of rookie rush jamming strategy where you could just blow them out of the water super fast. Um, that's a shame. Piedmon kind of opens it up for purple though for that rookie rush strategy with them. I think that might be kind of neat. I say rookie rush. It's it's like level four and below. So, and he's just he's a what a level six that he's just a win plate effect that makes him so good. So you don't even need to worry about evolving up into him. So you can just, like I said, play all those lower level guys, all the rookies and, and level fours, and that's all you kind of need. You know, include your blockers, that sort of thing. And I, and I think uh, that'll definitely be a great option there. But that's kind of it. I haven't seen Gallantmon really perform yet. I still think he's an awesome, awesome piece. Again, though, until someone kind of figures him out, because he's kind of awkward, uh, I don't think we're going to see much. But... Hopefully we'll get a level 7 uh, from him for uh, his advanced states, and that would be insane. Um, but I don't know if that's going to happen for a little while. And then uh, the Diaboromon, like I said, as long as Omnimon's super potent in the metagame, I don't see him doing much of anything. Uh, so just keep him on the back burner. Don't just trash the card. He's got potential. Let me know what you think about my theories here with these packs. I definitely think that's what we're going to be getting. Uh, if you think otherwise, or if you have any other kind of theories of what you think might be included in addition to these guys and uh, want to chat about it, definitely post in the comments below. I'll definitely try to reply to you, all you guys as much as I can, as often as I can. And uh, just happy gaming, guys. Also, if you like the video, please like the button, the you know, the little like button, it helps me out a whole lot, and I greatly appreciate all the support you guys give me just by watching the videos, commenting, liking the videos, and subscribing to the channel. We're almost to that thousand mark, and I just I cannot wait. And so, all you guys' support getting me there is greatly, greatly appreciated. And I'll see you next time.